Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger, and welcome to Dare to Dream. Today's show features expert numerologist Glynis McCants, aka the Numbers Lady. She's the go to girl when it comes to numerology. Glynis says there's no such thing as a stranger when you've got their number. Dare to Dream podcast has won three talk radio guaranteed awards from Talk Radio Positive, also won the COV Award for Radio and Podcast Best Show, Welp Magazine, named Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger, one of the top 20 best podcasts to listen to this year, and it is high ranking under self-improvement by Apple Podcasts. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane Here and Access consciousness. They do energy healing work out into the world. If you'd like to join them or become a facilitator, go to Dr. Dane here, H-E-E-R dot com. I'm Debbie Dashinger and I do media visibility work out into the world. Specifically, I am a book writing coach. I show you how to go from the inception of your idea to the completion of your idea. Definitely get my free gift that I'm about to tell you about because I'm going to be rolling out a five-day book writing challenge soon. Can't wait to work with you. Also, if you've completed your book, I take an author's book, whether you've got a publisher or you're self-published. I take you to guaranteed international best-selling status. And finally, I show you how to be interviewed on radio and podcasts and get massive results. So go ahead, get my gift so you can start to learn how to do these things, debbiedashinger.com slash gift. That's D-E-B-B-I-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com slash gift. My guest, Glynis McCants, is internationally known for her accuracy, Fortune 500 Companies seek her help to pick the best employees for their success. You've seen Glynis on 60 Minutes, The Today Show, Nighttime, CBS's The Talk, The View, Entertainment Tonight, The Dr. Phil Show, Parade Magazine, and many others. The producers of the movie Number 23 hired her as the numerology expert for the Jim Carrey film, and she has a numerology segment on the number 23 DVD teaching the life path numbers. Numerologist Glynis says that when we have someone's name and date of birth, we can discover exactly who they are. And numbers are not just in people, but also in our homes, businesses, cities, states, pets, and more. Her mission is to simplify what numerology is all about and to help everyone out there change their lives for the better. To find out more about Glynis McCants, go to numberslady.com. And with that, I welcome the amazing Glynis McCants to Dare to Dream. It's wonderful to have you. Hello, it's great to be here. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to unleash your personality on everybody. First of all, okay, I did so much research for you. So I have seen you on Dr. Oz and I saw you on The Doctors and I saw you so many shows and you were some pretty big people. You have an amazing personality. How is it for you doing shows like that? Do you get nervous? Is it comfortable interacting? Um, I, I will tell you, my background is stand-up comedy, so it's actually effortless. Yeah, when I was 21, I literally, uh, I was always funny. I was voted class clown, but I was also a straight-A student, so it wasn't a flunky. And I thought, you know, I could do stand-up. And I went and watched someone. I thought, oh, my gosh, this is totally me, telling stories and being funny. So the point is, when I debuted, I did 45 minutes. For my first show, I invited friends to come. The man who ran the club thought I was a headliner. He literally said, what is your fee? So that was my beginning. And I would tell you that's numerology. Because in numerology, I'm a three life path born on a three day. The three is the natural comedian, but it's also the one who's here to motivate and uplift other people. So yeah, I don't get nervous, but I, I, I think you might be like me. You do get excited, right? You get excited when you're gonna do a show. So I have to do the breathing. I would always breathe right before I went on there. So I was relaxed. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to show up hyper and too excited. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, good job. I was super impressed with all the places and spaces you've been. And so I want to give everybody in the audience who's watching us now or in replay a really good taste of all of where numbers end up. Let's start with how specific number combinations or patterns can impact somebody's personality or their life path according to numerology. So the thing is, like, even when we talk about numerology in general, the belief is that when you're born, you come through a certain sound. It's like a vibrational sound. Mm. And when you think of music, Pythagoras is the system I use. He was the father of harmonics. So that means when you come through and you meet someone who is of like mind, like there may be a natural match, it's easy. Mm. It, you get along beautifully. But if you come through and meet someone who's a challenge or toxic in energy, that's the energy that can drain you. So that's why it matters. So when we talk about blueprint, there are three numbers in your name, three numbers in your birthday. Those six numbers give me tremendous insight on who you are. Okay. And on that note, I do have your numerology blueprint. So I would love to tell you some stuff about you by the numbers. Okie doke. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So what the first thing you do, you know, you take a full date of birth, reduce it to one digit. In your case, it is the number two, and I believe 10, I didn't, I didn't look at it, but I believe it's an 11 slash two. Yes. So what does that mean? That you feel called to master your life. Debbie, you're not, you're not comfortable if you don't think you're making a difference. You would be so unhappy. And with that 11, I always say do the slash two, because in numerology, the numbers are one through nine. Those are the, the basics, and they really matter. Plus, when you're living in your frequency of master number, you can only do that when you're working. Like right now, you're in your master number. When you're out there writing, you know, anything we do that's a big deal, we're living in our master number. After that, you've got to relax. You go back to the two, which is love, peace, harmony, music, a good dinner, a great conversation. You know, just if you don't do that, you become very unhappy. It's like I've lost myself. I have lost who I am. Because technically you can do a lot for the world, but if you don't do for you, you know, check yourself. You can actually get sick, Debbie. You know, the number two energy means internalizing. Like you don't want to be the problem, so you go within. But you got to be careful. It's like, nope, I need to speak my mind. I need to let people know where I stand so it's not on me. Yeah. So that's just your life path. Mm -hmm. Then I look at your blueprint. Your soul numbers are two, which is... So sweet. It means you're psychic. You know you're psychic. Like you must have dreams that come true or deja vu when you meet people, right? Do you do that? I, I know things all the time. Yeah. All I'm the time. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? When you meet someone as quickly as you meet him, like, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, when you trust your gut instinct, it never fails you. Yep. It's when you second guess yourself, it's a problem. It's oh, like, yeah. gosh darn it. I had that feeling, but I didn't go with it. So the soul in you is fulfilled by love. So having a partner, it matters to you. Yeah. I don't, do you have any pets at all? Yes, two. Okay, okay. cats, dogs, what, so what are they? Dogs. Okay, loves of your life. They're your children, okay? <laughs> uh, to you, it's like that, ah, uh, they do something silly and you're on the floor laughing. They crack <laughs> you up. Their little personalities, the way they look at you. They they just, you could be in a bad mood and all you do is look at them and you're okay again. They pull you out of it. And then you have an eight personality. So what makes you special is although you're creative and very giving, you also know that we live on a planet that costs money. We have bills to pay. So your eight says, hey, this is business also. So I don't mind working hard. I'll give you everything I got, but I need to be compensated. So that eight is in there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Then you have a one power name number. One means striving to be the best of what you do. To you, it's like, hey, if I'm going to run this race, it wouldn't hurt to win, it's right? Nice. It's like, I'll do what it takes. I'm open yeah. to being, I want to deliver. I'm willing to study. I'll do the research, but I want, I want to feel like I had a victory. And so what I teach you when you have a one, because it's hard for you to just acknowledge, you need to stop and go, that was great, mm -hmm. before you move on to the next because it's very natural for you to pass that part and go, okay, what's next? What else do I need to do? So the one reminds you, stop and acknowledge that achievement and then move on to the next. Born on a nine day is the old soul. It means when you were a little kid, you would have known things beyond your years. You would have known stuff your parents didn't teach you. 
Mm-hmm. That was just you, right? You're very, um, it, it's a magical thing to see a little kid who's got the nine. They always say something where you're like, wow, where did they get that? What, what was that information? And then your attitude number is a six. Now I'll make the joke. The six breastfeeds the planet. You take care of everybody, Debbie. You know you do. So it's like, okay, I don't mind helping everyone. But again, I need to sometimes ask for help. I need to believe that someone else will do it too. Because that's hard to find. You know, a six attitude means... I, I have a fear that if I don't do it, it won't get done. And nothing upsets you more, Debbie. Or won't get done right. Go ahead. Or won't Say, get done right. Well, that's the fear for the six, right? They, it's a fear, though. They're going to fail. And then you're left holding the bag. So, so with that six, I still say it's an art of learning to say, yes, opening yourself up to people you can trust, but also surrendering sometimes and going, okay, it wasn't perfect. But I know for a fact I gave everything I had, you know, because you you will beat yourself up. If you feel you came up short, your mind will think about that. It's like, oh, I can't believe that happened, right? So there's a thing called personal year cycle. And I just want you to know this about you this year. It began in 2024. Break it down. Two plus zero plus two plus four is eight. Right. When I add that to your attitude number, six plus eight is 14. One plus four is five. Cycle of five, it's going to go real fast. Aren't you already feeling the speed, Debbie? Oh my God. If you even knew what my yeah. calendar looks like, the opportunities look like, it's amazing. Yes. Right? So here's the key. Because that's so much, it would be like if you were in a riptide, you can't <laughs> fight a riptide. you got to roll with it. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you could drown. Right. So in your case, you're like, whoa. <laughs> There's so much happening. I cannot make sure everything's as I would like it to be, but I'm going to roll with this. I'm going to accept this because it's going to move that fast. And whenever we're in a cycle of five, there's always some sort of positive payoff by year's end. So this is an exciting year for you. It is an amazing year for me. Thank you. I feel exactly what you're saying. I have felt the velocity happening and speeding up. And I literally have done just this, like a free fall, like take this where this is going is massive and beautiful. And I am a yes. I don't need to know all the hows and whys. I'm just here for it. That's right. So the more you just trust it, the better it is. You know, it's funny, like when it comes to the Oscars Mm. through the years, when I would do research on Oscar winners, whatever, they were often in a cycle of five when they got nominated, because that's not something you control. Right, like I, when I run numbers, you'd often see numerology patterns that were similar to the actors that got nominated, but the ones in the cycle of five often won because you don't control that, right? People vote. So I do find it fascinating, and that's how I see it, that it's almost as like saying whatever you've worked so hard on, like you've, you've always been consistent, cycle of five gives you something for it. Mm. You know, it's a light. It's a very bright light. So the light's being shined on you right now. Mm. And that'll last all through 2024. Yes, it will. Now, what I'm going to say, just on that note, next year, when you're in a cycle of six, it's your year. (laughs) You know, it is power. Like the number six for male and female, it's when you feel grounded and what you say goes. So that's why I said this year, you're going to roll with a lot. A lot of people will bring you opportunity. You're not going to be in complete control and that's fine. Next year, you are. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Beautiful. That's great. Oh my yeah. gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, um, I, I'm going to give a little bit back to you later because I looked something up on you. So I just yeah. thought that would be fun for each of us to do that. So folks yeah. hang on till we get into Glynis in a bit in a different way. Okay. Um, I, I want to ask you a couple of interesting numerology questions. And first of all, I just got to say, I designed this shirt. I'm like into designing right now. And these are uh, lions, one of my spirit animals. So I'm designing all these really interesting clothing. Now, let me tell you about that part of you. What we didn't talk about, 3692 are all creative. Mm -hmm. So 3692, and look at your chart. You've got two sixes, excuse me, two twos, a six and a nine. So if you didn't get to creatively express yourself, you would be very unhappy. 
Very so, nice. so look at all the things you've done. Like what's cool about you is you, you actually are using your gifts. You are actually using them. Now, when it comes to writing though, did you write a book? Have you written your book yet? Oh yes, yeah, several. Okay. Yes. Say that. Say it again. Yes, several books. Absolutely. So, because you are a storyteller. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not familiar with the books, but I will tell you, it's always from the heart. You, when I said you're a natural healer, you could write about that too. When it comes to the food, you know, processed foods versus healthy foods, uh, living on the earth, right? Being more grounded. That's the other one you can teach. So you have so much wisdom and you're not competitive. That's what's interesting. You strive to be the best for yourself, but you're not competing with anyone else. You, you're thrilled when someone does well. You love to see people succeed. See? And why is that? The number two in numerology, it gets along with more vibrations than anybody else. Mm -hmm. So that means you people fascinate you. Oh, they do. They really do. You are intrigued by them. Yeah. But the two also means, yeah, you do. But, but it also means you learn from them. You know, mm. so some of the wisdom that's come through, through your filter, you could tell, you could tell a story your unique way. And that's why. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm yeah. stepping more and more into teaching shamanism. I also yeah. do music. I'm a singer and uh, it is such a beautiful compliment for the shamanic group healings that I'm doing online and sessions with people here in Burbank. Yeah. So I am more and more shifting into that and speaking and Etc. And I probably do have another book. My books have all been the how how to create dreams and things. They've yes. been you know, beautiful for that. And I feel there's something way more personal, which is yes. not comfortable for me, by the way. I'd rather yes. not go deep and transparent, but I feel it. I know when I feel the energy of something, I just honor it. It's important that you do that. Uh, we're, the, this is what I meant about being a two, you know, some people feel called they have to be the center of attention. They must, all eyes must be on them. Ironically, that's not your truth. Like here you do these shows, here you deal with tons of people. But that's not you. You're not going, oh, look at me. It's all about me. No. What happens if the two sees talent? Like if you see other people that are gifted, you are called to help them too. That's why. Because the two has an eye for it. Mm. You have an eye for the gift that's out there. But I, I will say, as the writer that you are, there is more stories within you to help others, you know, and you should not, it would never be about this year. Like people literally ask me about the numbers. When's a good time to write? Not in the cycle of five. Mm, that's good <laughs> no time. way. Okay. It moves too quickly. You wouldn't have time. You would never have time right now. But next year, you could consider it because you'd be in a cycle of six, more grounded. The following year, seven, that's a real good time. Just get away from everybody and write. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's coming up. It's just not now. Okay. This is yeah. so huge. What you're doing right now. Um, I love this, that anybody can come to you and you start to position them. So yeah. let's talk about this for someone's business, for instance, whether yeah. it's about they're negotiating or considering a change. How do you work with them and what kind of information can you give them? The truth is, because numerology is something I live, eat, and breathe. And when I say numerology, I have to tell you, the reason I wrote a book called Glennis Has Your Number is because after researching for 13 years and doing readings, I had unique conclusions. that A lot of the stuff I put in my book was not in other books. So you might read other books after mine, and you'll see a lot of my stuff in there. That's what I have found. Well, that's not what I did. I kept it unique and specific. Just like I read you just now. That was unique and specific. You didn't hear me say, is that true? Does that resonate? I, you didn't hear any of that from me. <laughs> and no one ever will. Okay, so what do I do? If you come to me, it's business. Then we want to know what's the business name. Is it compatible to you? Mm. Because if that business name is a challenge to you, it's going to make it harder for you to do it. Where is that business located? Is the address not compatible or is it? What is it promoting? So if it's not, I help you alter the energy of where you are. That's my thing. Like... If you had a business address, I would have you put a different number on the inside of the door to alter the energy to make it better. So I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, one of my clients recently was like, you know, it's the one house of one, but everyone's just doing their own thing. I said, because the one promotes independence, the one does not promote, let's all work together. I said, so I told her to put the two on the inside of the door, change it to three energy. And sure enough, 
She goes, I don't know if I'm hallucinating, but I just feel like everyone wants to help all of a sudden. <laughs> and I'm like, that's I how love it what you're saying because uh, years ago, there was something about the address of my house, 817. Uh -huh. And not good for you. I don't know the validity of this, but I was, yeah. I then became uh, like Dustin Hoffman in that. It's an old film where he used to count numbers. Right, and, right, right. With Tom Cruise. Yes. And he was mentally disabled, yes, but he was yes. a genius, right? He was autistic, yes. I think. Yes. Excuse he me. Wonderful. He was autistic. Yeah. And, and I felt, have felt like that ever since hearing it. I will walk down the street walking my dog and crunch numbers and go, yeah. Where would I best live? Is it a number? Wow. I think I was told it was a number six. And like, yeah. it seems so hard. How do you get that? But well, it so sounds like- you. Go ahead, Debbie. I had a quick question. You said 817, correct? Correct. All right. So I'm going to say quickly that when it breaks down to seven, that's the home of the loner. And I, again, it invites you to do the study, but you're social too. You like to share your life with someone. So all that means is that house of seven did not promote you connecting with others. And that's why it could have felt like a challenge and not been ideal for you. Keeping that part simple. So go ahead. What and I live saying? with my partners, so we don't want to be loners here, right? No, you do not. So it you sounds like you're saying if you put, there's a way to put another number somewhere inside the house or inside the door. And that yeah. facilitates, certainly for me, a change yes. for the best. Yes. So here's how that works. And coincidentally, the home I live in, which I do love, but it's a house of seven. So when I moved in, I, I couldn't even feel my husband. Charlie's the love of my life. If you've done research on me, you already know I'm crazy about my husband. We've been together 21 years. We dated for two, married for 19. He is my best friend. Mm -hmm. Like we have the best son. And I don't care how crazy life gets. We do find a way to laugh every day. Mm -hmm. At some point we end up laughing. And certainly we've never gone to bed angry. That's not even possible. No. But the house of seven, when he was not in that room, I couldn't feel him. I'm like, oh, this is a problem. So what did I do? I picked up the numbers three and one. See, because I'm a three life path, seven is a challenge. So I picked the purity of three and one. I put it on the inside of the door, became a house of two. And honestly, within a couple of days, no matter where he was, I just felt him. He didn't have to be right in my face at all, but I didn't feel alone. So that's what it is. Now, for somebody else, that could be a perfect energy, right? Mm -hmm. So we're all different. Example, when a woman gets divorced, let's say she's had a really bad marriage, moving into a house of one is not a bad idea because it's promoting her independence. Mm -hmm. She needs to be by herself. But then when she's ready for love, she's, she can either alter that energy or move, move into a new energy when she's ready. Yeah, it makes a big difference. So you want the numbers on the outside Plus uh, it's not outside, there. not for the postman, it's for you. So it's inside the door. Like, you know, I'm not going to walk around, but I could show you the numbers. So the, you know, the postman's outside at the top of the door inside your house, that main door that people come in, I have the numbers up there. I put my numbers up there and no one ever knows this. <laughs> no, no one has ever said, what do those numbers mean? But what I tell my clients is, so let, let's say, say the number three, they can say, oh, it promotes laughter and communication in our house. Oh, that's cool. What's that number six? It's magnetic. It represents family. Oh, that's cool. No one cares, but boy, does it make a difference. Yeah. yeah. And I teach that in my book, Glynis has your number. Okay. That's in there. So fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Okay. So what about if somebody's going to get a tattoo? Is it okay to go ahead and get like a lion or an animal? Or should we get numbers tattooed on us? Would that no, help? I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for you just saying lion, animal, little symbol, butterfly, whatever you want. Not numbers. And why do I say that? Because your numbers are pure. You know, mm -hmm. you came through with numbers, right? The vibration's already all over you. And I just think if you can embrace the positive side of your numbers... No matter who you are, you can have great success. When you add a number, you're altering the energy. So that's concerning. What if? And if you don't know numbers, what if you just did something that made it much worse for you? You see, it really matters. Like if somebody did do that, they should look into, well, what did that just do for my blueprint, right? What did that do with my energy? So yeah, I'm all about messages, tattoos, fine. 
leave the numbers out of it if you can. And those who already did it, because a lot of people have done it, just look up your blueprint and make sure it's compatible to you. Because if it's not, you might have to add another number to fix it. <laughs> right? Because it's already been done. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This year, I also feel, I mean, I've been feeling energies and so many yes. different levels. And yes. I really feel a lot globally. Yes. What are we looking at numerologically for this country, meaning the United States? And because yeah. this is an international audience, yes. what about globally, worldwide? What's ahead of us to be? Well, worried? here's what I found fascinating. You know, a couple months before the year began, I do coast to coast radio with George Norrie. And George always asked me, can you give us a hint? Can you give us a clue? What's coming up? Well, I said the year of eight if I were to give it a word, like last year was the year of seven, it was the year of the environment. I said, mother nature was going to speak so loud you couldn't ignore her while well, you saw it. Debbie, how many record breaking things happened that were catastrophic with weather? So we saw that happen. This year, I said, it's the year of politics. And when I said that, I didn't mean just the United States, I meant the world. Well, what I found out in January, I read an article that said, there are more people voting this year in the world than ever in our history. It turns out 4 billion people will be voting this year. So this is a radical shift. You know, that's, that's, that's something we all have to consider. What does it really mean? It means you matter. Stop pretending your vote doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Uh, you sitting on a chair yelling and feeling sorry for yourself. The world's nuts. I can't do anything. Sure you can. You can get out there and volunteer. You can go to a fundraiser if you believe in somebody. You got to participate. That's the cycle we're in. Now, what happens if you take that number eight, which is our world number, if you trace it, it goes round and round, right? So that means you have an opportunity. If you're going in the wrong direction, you can shift it. You can go the other way because you have two beautiful circles. It's not a mistake to make a new decision. You know, so often we make a mistake. We're like, I have nothing. There's nothing I can do. This is the way it's got to be. No, this year we all play a role in where we're headed. So that's powerful. What I also do is look at, of course, at our world leaders, but I look at them, not just their blueprint. I look at the personal year cycle they're in because it gives me a, a heads up of what they're going through. So example, uh, Putin, Putin is double seven. And Debbie, what I say about that, it always means a man of mystery. You don't know the whole story. But I also say they either thank God or think they're God. And you cannot dispute what he thinks he is. I mean, Putin's made it very clear where he stands. He does not believe anything is above him. Well, this year he's in a personal year of seven. And that means he's going he's gonna to be even more covert. He's got a lot of plans. But because it's a year of eight, which is blunt and in your face, I think a lot of his stuff will be exposed. And uh, uh, regarding his health, I am convinced this man has tremendous health issues, but we're going to get more of an answer this year that is not baloney. Like they, they like to keep us in the dark on that. I see exposure on that. So pay attention to that. On terms of our own people, Joe Biden, I said because Joe's in a personal year of three, three promotes communication. So whether you like him or don't, the guy's talking. You, you are watching him out there. He is making speeches. He did not make the whole four years, right? He is saying what he believes. He's saying where he stands. He's saying where he feels he's made a difference. So you will continue to see him express. The three is about, I need to tell you what's up. So I think we welcome someone speaking up instead of trying to figure out what the heck they're doing. So that's something to consider. Donald Trump. Fascinating. Donald Trump is in a personal year of one. Now, one means striving to win, and that's fine. The problem is if you think you're number one and you forget how to work with others, it's out of your own mouth that you do your undoing, right? It's what he will say that will hurt him during this cycle. And that's what we need to consider. Like Hillary Clinton, you know, she was in a cycle one and it uh, ended up in a losing cycle. Do you see? So one means, yes, I want to win the race. And I mean, I don't care who you are. If you're in a personal year one, you're feeling like I want to get in the driver's seat of my life. I want to have a victory. But in the case of Trump, who's running, speaking the voice, what does he say? What 
what could blow up in his face verbally? It's not about other people doing damage. It's on him. So that's what he needs to pay attention to. Literally, if I was counseling him, that's what I would say. That sometimes it's better to pull back. If you're a big communicator, sometimes your power is quiet, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because that's when people go, hmm, what's on his mind? What is he thinking? So that's what's happening there. And then Nikki Haley, people ask about, wow, she's still in the race. Well, what's funny about it, I was looking up her numerology because I like to see who has presidential numbers, right? There are certain numbers that, that can do well in that position. I'll put it to you that way. She technically has them in this way. Born on a two-day, four-life path. The two means she has to have the intuition of what to say, right? You have to get, just like you do, you do this, Debbie, you have this. Well, you stop and consider, what am I going to say before I say it? But behind it is her four, and the four means A plus B must equal C. I make the joke that a four female is a guy with lipstick. And what I mean is, yes, yes, they're in tune. They can do it themselves. Like, they've got that strength. Mm -hmm. But they also like to be pretty. You know, yeah. she does She does her makeup. She wears mm -hmm. her dress. She's doing all that. But her numbers, do I think she'll be president of the United States? No, I'm not going to sit there saying that because that's not what this is. Remember what I told you. Whatever you believe right now, you're going to see radical shifts throughout, this, throughout the months. This is a crazy thing. I call it crazy eight. So I'm, I'm presenting to you why she's in the race and why she's done as well as she has. Because don't forget, in the beginning, she had one percentage point, three percent. She was nowhere. She was completely dismissed. So the question is, how is she still here? And she's also in a personal year of two, which means she's very, very intuitive of what she says and doesn't say while running against Donald Trump. Right. That is her competition right now. So, yeah, that's what I do is I look at the numbers to say what's going on. I'll tell you who was my surprise. Ron DeSantis really surprised me in one way. He has double three. And I'm telling you, Debbie, they're known for their eyes, their smile, their voice. Well, he seemed okay until he got on that world stage. He seemed to have a real problem communicating and connecting. And even his smile. Do you remember his smile? People would talk about it. Yes. It was, it was kind of a half smile. I'm going to try to imitate it. He'd go, like, kind of like that. I'm like, where's your coach? <laughs> Where's the joy? Because do you know what also happens when it comes to the world politic? What? The happy warrior. When mm -hmm. you see someone who's running and they still smile, it matters. That makes you feel a little more comfortable, a little safer. It's like, wow, you know, that person's still smiling, in, even though they're under tremendous pressure. So that's what you're going to watch for. You're going to see a lot of loopy stuff going on. And this won't be just the United States of America. It'll be throughout the world. So pay close attention. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what good. about health? What about finances and other things that impact yes. the world? And is weather still going to play a big part or have we passed that? Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to pass weather. The weather will continue because, you know, the shadow side of eight is to learn the hard way and to be the victim. Well, there's nothing scarier than like a tornado that wipes out a town, right? Especially a town that's never had a tornado. Remember, this, these bizarre things are happening in places they never happen. So you've got to pay attention to the weather. But yes, you're right. Finance and health are my big ones this year. What does it mean? Let's say you're, you know, your lower back hurts, but you're ignoring it. Well, next thing you know, your back goes out, right? You're stuck in the bed going, I can't believe I didn't get a check sooner. Anything, any way in which your body's talking to you this year, you got to pay attention, get it checked. If the neck hurts, go to the chiropractor, do whatever you want. And I, I know a lot of people who are anti going to a regular doctor. They don't trust them, right? Cutting you up. Fine. Go homeopathic remedy, you know, do acupuncture, do uh, Reiki, whatever you want to do, but don't ignore the body this year. Oh, as a matter of fact, it's funny. I don't know if you have felt this, Debbie, but the eight wants you to look good. So, he, so you'll literally look in the mirror and go, okay, I need to work out some more. Maybe I'll do my hair different, get some new makeup. I'm going to do a bunch of cream. It wants you to look good. So that's a funny thing. So for everyone out there, take a look in the mirror and say, how do I improve myself? You know, some people give up. This is not the year to give up. This is a year to in, improve your health, improve your life. And then finances, the positive side of eight represents money and prosperity. 
So if you're working on that part of your life, maybe you're going to launch a business, right? Or you're going to buy a home. Maybe it's a home you have to fix up. The eight in, embraces financial security, but I, Glennis McCants, I'm a huge affirmation person. You go to my website, I have affirmations for everything, whether it's your finances, your health, love, kindness. We don't have enough of it. How do you get more of it? But also grieving. You know, so many of us lost lives. And it's a pandemic, over a million people passed away. There's a lot of people in pain. And I created a, a grief CD that has healed so many people. I had one beautiful story, Cindy. A man told me his wife died and they were, they were madly in love. She lived, you know, they were married 25 years. He never, ever, ever dreamed he'd find someone. He was in great pain. So he said, I started doing your affirmations. I would go for hikes, like climbing, and I'd just say it again and again. He said, and all of a sudden I meet this woman at a coffee shop. He goes, we've been together 10 months and I, I, I can't believe this, but I am in love with her. He goes, and I just never thought I'd have love again. I go, that's it. You know, while we're here, we all deserve love. You have 8 billion people on the planet. No one should be alone. You, oh, we all deserve to connect, but sometimes we block it when we're hurting. So that is what I teach and keeping it simple. One of my affirmations I'm kind of passing around right now. So I'll give it to your audience. This one's really good. I welcome great wealth into my life and the freedom to do whatever I want. So I'm going to say it three times. I welcome great wealth into my life and the freedom to do whatever I want. I welcome great wealth into my life and the freedom to do whatever I want. Because you can't beat that kind of wealth. And what I want people to remember, those who are afraid of money, they're like, oh, no. I don't, I don't like money or I think only greedy people have money. I'm like, would you stop your nonsense? One, you live on a planet that costs money, so you don't have a choice but to make some. And number two, remember, if you get ahead financially, you can help others. You can give to charity. You can you know, build a church in an area that doesn't have one. Think of the power of your prosperity. Start seeing wealth that way. It's not just, oh, I can buy that car I want. No, it's bigger than that. It's I can make a difference. I have the freedom to take care of my bills. And now I can help the people I love and the people who don't know me, less fortunate. That's that kind of year this is, Debbie. People who do those affirmations daily, I always say do it 15 minutes a day out loud. They will get results. No question. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That was so beautiful. Even the energy of the words of that mantra landed so clean and money is freedom. I've always said that. Yes. And it's an energy. It's just yes, an it exchange of value and yes. how we value ourselves. Right. That's right. So, so important. Um, beautiful stories you told. I love about this man who was yes. hiking and doing so your affirmations strange. and not even yeah. thinking it was possible after his great love died, but yes. meeting someone wonderful you yes. also, as you've said, are with somebody wonderful. So talk about how numerology assists romantically and oh, yeah. what you can do for people there. What, how, what do you look at? Okay, so the numbers are everything when it comes to love. There's just no getting around it because if you have a blueprint of who you are and then you have a blueprint of someone else, let's say you have one challenge number out of six. Well, that's wonderful. One or two is fine. It means you could agree to disagree. If you have three challenge numbers, it means you both really have to work on keeping the relationship healthy. If you have four or more, you have to ask yourself, is this worth it? Because, <laughs> oh yes, Cindy, it can get real bad. Because what it means is, you know, that kind of relationship where you lost your life, like you're just focused on the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's all you think about. That's not healthy. Mm. A healthy relationship means you have a life, right? You have a career. You Maybe you're raising the kids and you think about your life and then your partner comes and you guys have a great time. You compare notes. You know, what's going on with you? What's going on with you? And I noticed that about my husband and why we end up laughing. It's been 21 years. I swear the other night he, he made fun of me. But it was so funny. Like he just, I was trying to explain this workout. I'm doing this wall Pilates and I was explaining. Get, and he's like, wow, <laughs> wait, wait, it gotta be Charlie Watch. He's like, wow, that seems really tough. I'm like, you suck. But I mean, tears of laughter. 
that is what a healthy relationship is. That you guys compare notes, but you're still getting to know each other, right? What is funny to you? You know, where do you want to go? So that is what I am all about. So when I find someone, like this is what I've noticed, those who are in those challenged relationships, they're in a lot of pain, like it's common, but how it starts, it's chemistry. Mm. See, the more challenges, the more chemistry, you know, it's like, we oh. can't even have a conversation, but we want to tear each other's clothes off. I'm like, that's great for now, <laughs> but then time keeps passing and it's not going to work because you know what happens after a while? I don't want him to touch me. Mm. I'm so sick of it because of the fighting. You know, what comes out of your mouth, that, that battle is what stops love. And I'm a huge endorser of the weekly date, you know, dating your partner, your husband. Chuck and I always go out at least once a week to have fun and enjoy each other as if we're dating. Because otherwise, you become roommates. You know, you, you suddenly, he's busy, I'm busy, we're both on a deadline, okay, I'll catch you tomorrow. No, I'm about, we're having a conversation, we're going to visit but it's still compatibility. And one thing, you know, people always go, oh, your relationship's perfect, I'll never have that. No, my husband's life path is a challenge to mine. Oh. He's a four and I'm a three. Mm. So because he knows numerology through me, he will literally say, hey, Glennis, the four in me needs to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I have to take my deep breath and say, okay, what's up? Because he's warning me. He's like, I know it's not something you're gonna like, but he doesn't want to blow out either. Mm -hmm. So he presents it because I know what he just said. I listen, mm -hmm. I listen. And there are times too, if he pushes me in a way I want to speak up, I say to myself, ah, Glennis, ask yourself, is it worth the fight? Mm -hmm. Do you want to fight right now? And if my answer is no, which it tends to be, we get past it, right? So that's what I mean. But if someone's completely toxic to you, everything they say makes you crazy. You know, everything they say or, or how they want to live their life. This is what I've done with couples counseling. They feel so grateful because like, see, honey, I didn't do it to upset you. That's who I am. When I counsel and explain their numerology, there's peace in the relationship because mm -hmm. they now realize it's not personal. He or she are not trying to make my life worse. It's just who they are. So yeah, that's what I do. I counsel couples. I counsel individuals. Naming a baby by the number, Cindy, it's my favorite thing to do. You know yes. what? Um, yes. I have to say, Glynis, that is, uh, first of all, I resonate so much with what you said about relationship. And I've just yes. come to that over time. Just learning, yes. healing, learning. Yes. And so, yes, I think it's a beautiful way to have a relationship. And also, we often laugh, too. And you know what? It's yes. I was just reading a People magazine about a celebrity who's been married a really long time. And it's the first time I identified when they were saying, well, how do you guys do it? And she said, you know what? It's not that we don't have things from time to time. It's just that literally we say it in a way we sort of a little bit make fun of each other is a little bit yes. of sarcasm and yes. it just blows over. And I find we are organically doing that. Yes. And then as far as names, when I was getting my dog, by the way, 888, born August 8th, 2015. Wait, wait, I, say the birthday? Is that 888? Let's 8th, say the birthday. August what? 8th, 2015. And then what year? 2014? 15. So 2015. she's a triple eight. Well, she has a seven attitude though, because eight and eight is, is uh, 16. One plus six is seven. And then she's born on an eight day. And then seven, and then the other part would be seven. So it'd be seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, seven. But you, th you thought it was the other way around. Hold August, on. August. So August is an eight month, right? Right. Eighth is eight. And 2015. Right. So 2015. You added up it's eight. eight. Right. So, and so here's how it works. The day the dog's born is an eight day. The month and day would be a seven. And then seven plus eight would be a six. So that dog is seven, eight, six. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing the actual numerology. You are correct in saying that date energy is eight, 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 no doubt. But so let me tell you what that means though. What is the dog's name? Because I do help with naming dogs by the numbers. And I spent so much time looking, I mean, researching for two months before I picked her up. Her name is Shelby, S-H-E-L-B-Y. 
and I, for the meaning of her name, for the numerology, I mean, yeah. I must have gone through 40 names that I thought were beautiful and I was shocked at their numbers or meaning. And I yes. chose Shelby for her. I wish you could meet her. She's just the most. Well, I amazing. love that. Okay, so three, I'm double checking here. Oh, uh, so we got. So while she does this, this is no joke, people. If you're getting an animal or a baby or a, yeah. you know anything yeah. in your life, this stuff is important. It's for the rest yeah. of their your life and relationship. So here's what you did do. You did give the name where the power name number was an eight. So what does that mean? I mean, eight is about quality. Does it? Does Shelby like things a certain way? Is there a certain food or where she sleeps? Tell me about her personality in that way. She's independent, incredibly yes. independent, but also really sensitive. Yes. She is a people person. She yes. is one of the few animals who can walk in a room and she'll race up to someone and hug them. Most people might be frightened because it's a dog, but yes. she melts people's hearts. She's yes. love, love, love. She's very confident, yes. uh, charming, hilarious, mischievous, and right. uh, deeply connected. So let me tell you, ultimately, that birth number, you want to remember this, that dog's technically a six. Remember where I said you breastfeed the planet? So does that dog. That dog comes in to nurture everybody else. That dog's putting everyone else at ease. And the dog's magnetic. People are drawn to the dog. They, I mean, it has to be a beautiful dog. It wouldn't make sense if it wasn't. And then the name numbers, going back to the, the souls of three, which means can be goofy or funny, because that's personality. And five means never a dull moment. Where are we going? What are we doing? You know, so when you're out there doing the walk, that's a happy time. But yeah, that's what you have. You have a very strong, protective dog. Mm -hmm. You know, home and family is sacred for that mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow. So yeah. Good. So good. Um, thank you for that. Very apropos. Perfect. And if people look at their life path numbers, such as you yes. described early, are yes. there strategies, are there insights that are associated that people need to know sort of like, I guess, pros, cons, or yes. I can strategically do this to better navigate yes. my life? Yeah, there definitely is. So I'm going to give an example of how to break it down. So I oh, will just use the birthday 5-5-1989. So people can write that down while we're talking. 5-5-1989, you're added straight across. 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 9. That becomes 37. You keep going. 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So what does that mean? Well, 1 in numerology is the beginning. It goes like this. One is, is about self. And then when we get to the number nine, which is the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's selfless. Learning to be selfless. Okay, so what? A one strives to be number one. They want to be the best of what they do. Um, now, mind you, they can be very self-critical. So they that means they'll be critical of you too. And you cannot take that personally. What it means is they're just striving for excellence. And if you're their partner, they're going to want you to be excellent too. But that's a one. Um, and again, I told you about the one that was in your chart. Your life path is the big one. It, it, you must fulfill it in this lifetime. I told you, you have the 11 slash two, you're living that. And the shaman, all of that stuff, that's the two psychic energy. But the one, they have to feel number one at what they do, which means if you hire someone as a one, let them be in charge of their section and make sure you tell them how amazing they are. Because if you tell them that, they will give you excellence. But if you're being critical, I say uh, with a one, if I said, go left, and they don't like the way I said it, they're going to go right. But it doesn't mean it was a good idea. <laughs> I always say to the one, just because you didn't like how they said it, it still might have been a good idea to go left. So that's what they learn. The number two, peacemaker, peacemaker, mediator, they don't want conflict. When a two gets upset, when they feel pushed to the wall, they look ridiculous because that's not how they roll. Like they look like a little kid. They get so mad. But when it's over, they're exhausted. A two does not want to fight. That phrase, I'm a lover, not a fire, that goes to the number two. So I teach twos, don't, don't fall in. Don't you dare let people take you down. Don't you listen to that. If someone's constantly critical of you, consider who they are and move on, especially in love. 
Don't you dare put up with a partner that's critical because you, you can't handle it. The two can't handle it. The other thing about it too, because they love so deeply, when someone they are in love with is in trouble, they act like their problem is theirs and they can stop doing that. It's like you can pull back, have a boundary, say, I'm sorry you're going through that and I'll help you, but I don't want to fall in. I don't want to fall in with you emotionally because it's too much. Um, there you go. And again, I'm going to say they're naturally psychic. The, the most affected people right now when it comes to emotional upheaval is two energy. So if you're a two life path or you have a two in your chart, understand that's why you feel so much and then take time out with music. It makes you happy, get silly, dance, do stuff that just pulls you out of all that thought stuff. You got too much going on in your head. I have okay. a two question for you. Yes. And I don't know if you ever followed up when you were on, I believe, was it the Dr. Phil, the doctors? I'm sorry. One of the many shows you were on, you were reading people and they brought yes. a woman up on stage and I believe she was a life path too. And you were like, <clears throat> you keep winding up with guys you're taking care of. Stop right now. You need a good guy. Then you said, there's a great guy. I guess you must have crunched a bunch of single men in the audience this gentleman was sitting up front. You said, look at those eyes. Look at that smile. You guys are a beautiful match. It was Dr. Phil. And Dr. Phil said, if I set you guys up to go out to dinner, would you do it? They both said yes. And I was sitting there like, well, what happened? <laughs> How did they <laughs> well, go along? And here's what I would tell you, <laughs> I'm with you, like on terms of what happened. But what, what had happened earlier in the show, <clears throat> Char Margolis, who's terrific, she was kind of helping matchmake. And this guy was, ne he didn't get to make that group. And when I saw his numbers, I said, oh no, that she needs to at least know this guy, yeah. right? Because his numbers are terrific. So I don't know what happened. Like, I don't even know if she ultimately wanted a relationship in that moment, but I can tell you what I remember. He was a three. And I said, threes are known for their eyes, their smile, their voice. He had it. But remember what I said? <laughs> favorite part. I go, and you're funny. Yes. Don't you think you're funny? And he goes, I'm pretty entertaining. Yes. I mean, that, that knocked me out. Right. <laughs> so, and she was a nine. And so getting to the nine, the nine always ends up rescuing people. It's not healthy. Mm -hmm. So I'll quickly say, so going back to the fact that he's a three yeah. naturally uh, called to motivate and uplift others. So when you meet a three, it's not uncommon. They could be a singer. They can be a writer. They can be a counselor. They got to use that. And if you meet Debbie, if you meet someone as a three who's not doing anything like that, they are scarred from that original family. And numerology helps you with that. You know, you can learn. Maybe you play guitar every night you know, and you're thinking, oh, it's just a ho hobby. And then you read your numbers and go, no, I'm a performer. And next thing you know, you're performing because it's true. Sometimes our parents direct us in a way they want, but it doesn't mean it's right for you by the numbers. So yeah, threes have to express themselves, any form of communication. The number four, four seek knowledge. Once they learn it, they want to show you how to do it because they don't want you to go through what they went through. That's basically the reason. Um, they, what I tell you, the shadow side, they do have a voice saying, I don't want to do it unless I do it perfectly. There's no such thing. So I find a lot of fours that become permanent students. They constantly get a degree. And I have a master's, I have a PhD. I'm like, stop. You are literally a teapot full of water. Please pour it in some cups. <laughs> Share what you know. I have to teach them that. Now, what they can't handle is a liar. You know, the four, it's a deal breaker. And because, by the way, packs and numbers, two, four, eight, because you've got double two, you can't handle a liar either for the same reason. You're okay if, if they tell you a horrible truth, just be honest with you. But if the energy finds out behind the back, something happened, it's a deal breaker. I say to force, once they've betrayed you, you don't get over it. So yeah, if it's a family member, then you got to separate. You can love them. You can write them nice cards, but you cannot hang with them because you're haunted by what they did. And then of course, if it's a relationship that you can let go of, let it go because there's nothing worse than when a force stays in something and says, remember when you did this to me? Do you remember what you said? It's bad for the person you're talking to and it's bad for you personally. So, but the four is, they're seekers of knowledge. They love homes, not, in, not uncommon to be like an engineer or walk through a house, say I can make this house even more beautiful. 
the builder, they have it. The number five, freedom, fun, adventure, never a dull moment. Now, what I teach fives, they come through with so many natural gifts. They need to pick one and see it through because what can happen is they burn out. You know, five's like, oh, I want to do this. And they're like, I, I got tired. I quit. You got to stay focused, you know, pick something that makes you happy. I do it. I always say to the men, computer programming, maybe dealing with cyber warfare, right? Find out who the hackers are, catch them. Because I said, and I said this about you too, Debbie, you're a natural detective. You know where that came from though in your chart? The name yeah. Debbie. Mm. You have an E and E is five. And that's like, I want to know the truth. I don't want to be in the dark. I can't stand not knowing. Or, you know, you talk to someone and say, this does not ring true to me. I'm going to find out what really happened. And you do. You find out what happened. So as a five life path, that's all they do. I always say, don't lie to a five. They're going to bust you later. They will find out what happened. And then I insist that fives travel because when they go to different parts of the world, or even if they just go to a hotel for the weekend, they're so happy. It's like a new fun adventure. So I really encourage that for them. And then the six, six is considered, they're meant to be in charge. You know, just like it's talked about your attitude six. They're not good under somebody else. It's not comfortable because they end up doing their job and you know they do the boss's job and their job, but the boss is making money. Not fair. So I encourage sixes to be in charge of what they do if they can. If they have kids, they're all about it. It's like, I'm the, the best mama. I'm going to be the best dad. They don't want to fail. And also they're magnetic. People are drawn to them, but they are obsessed with damage control. So I teach them to say out loud, it's going good and I deserve it because they don't know what to do with that. It's like, uh oh, it's quiet. What do I not know? When's that other shoe going to drop? It's going good and I deserve it. Learn that. Number seven, seeking who am I? What am I? Why am I here? So they ask big questions and they have to find it. They have to find something spiritual that resonates because otherwise they go very cynical. And if you meet a seven who maybe they're just atheists straight up, they're, they're actually still seeking. Like they'll test you if you have faith because they still have won an answer. They just haven't found it. They haven't found it yet. And you cannot make them do it. Don't ever try to shove religion down a seven's throat. They will ditch you so fast. Your head will spin. No. And nature is kind of their spirituality. The ocean, oh my gosh, sevens that love the water, which is a natural thing to do. I call them the human fish. If they could learn to breathe underwater, they'd never come back up. <laughs> no, they love it. So nature, the ocean, the mountains, the plants, the flowers, and some sevens, the ones that don't, you know, maybe they didn't learn to swim, which I think is a crime, but get the bathtub, get your, you know, wonderful bathtub with the salt, salt, um, just to get the toxins off your body. Absolutely. They always... Yeah, they get their energy from it. Like mm -hmm. if a seven's troubled, I say, even if it's a river, lake, get near water, mm -hmm. ask the question, your intuitive voice will answer it. But when they do find something they believe, they're wonderful. Like they'll tell you a story and you will want to follow them. Very powerful energy. But man of mystery, you do not. Think Putin, think Elon Musk. Even though Elon says things, you don't know Elon Musk. No one does. He's a seven. Okay, number eight, financial security. The eights have to find a way to have a good relationship with money. So there's two types that either slips through their fingers or they keep it in the bank because they're afraid to spend it. So they've got to find a balance and understand that money just flows just like the water. It comes in, it comes out. And the more they're willing to do that, the happier they are. Uh, they also care about what it looks like. Like I always laugh when it's a little kid. He'll come out, mommy, I want this. And it's the most expensive brand name something. They didn't know that. They're just a little kid, but they love quality. So that's a very true for an eight. And eights, when I said the year of politics, no matter who the eight is, they do care about justice. They see an injustice, they're going to speak up. They are very strong in their opinion. So I would say, get involved, right? Use that ability. Big money. Some of the most wealthiest people, I mean, Martha Stewart's an eight, come on, Barbara Streisand's an eight, uh, Sandra Bullock's an eight, look how she's not just an actress, she produces, right? Matt Damon's an eight, a lot of success in that energy, but again, it means they have to have other numbers to point to creativity, but the eight still means, let's do some business here. 
Like the big business people in Hollywood, they're eights and fours, which is business minded. And let me ask you an eight question. I Uh, heard you somewhere speaking about eights and my jaw dropped. I actually sent the video to a friend of mine who's an eight. Okay. And you mentioned eights can have lower back pain, correct? Absolutely. Unbelievable. But here's why. Yeah. Lower back pain. If you go to Louise Hay, who was one of my mentors, Mm. she wrote, you can heal your life. Mm. Lower back pain is issues about money, concerned about finance, worried about the future. So guess what heals it? Do your affirmations. Mm. Say that affirmation. The one I gave today, they should rewind and go to it. Because if they do, they can kill the pain. I have had many eight life paths heal their lower back pain by doing a positive financial prosperity affirmation daily. Because they're talking to their body. They're saying, we're okay. We're okay. Mm -hmm. Um, There's someone I I will say quickly without saying their name, very famous. I deal with a lot of famous clients, right? We do, but we respect their privacy. But this one made me laugh. This was a gal who had to come to a guy who was one of my clients. He had to sign a non-disclosure and I knew what was wrong with her. I said, she's gonna say her shoulders are killing her and her lower back. And I knew it just because of her public life and what she was going through. And it was verbatim. Wow. She was in agony in her, her neck and shoulder and her lower back. But it was by the numbers that I knew it. So yeah, and eight was very much a part of that person's chart. Mm. So yeah, that's what you do. And then following the number nine, first thing I tell you, yes, I can say humanitarian because Gandhi was a nine. Mother Teresa was a nine. Yogananda was a nine. It's not uncommon for the nine to feel called to change the world. What can I do to make it better? Mm -hmm. Now, the shadow side of nine, if you're someone who's a nine who's got a lot of scars from the past, you might become a really bad person, right? You're violent, you're angry, uh, you feel entitled. That's the shadow side. Mm -hmm. But I like to embrace what's the good news. If you're in pain from the past, you feel your mom and dad did a bad job, work through that. Get through it. Do the counseling, do whatever you have to do to let it go. And remember, your happiness is when you're in the moment. When we're in the moment, we're perfectly fine. So I always teach nines, find your way to be in the moment. They are the ones who feel called to change everyone's lives. Like, you know, they volunteer their time. It's, it's natural for them. They give away a lot of stuff to charity. But I tell them, here's an analogy for you. They can never say, will you help me? So if they were in the water and they're bobbing up and down, they're actually drowning. People are like, oh, look at Susie swimming. It's like, no, Susie's not swimming. Susie's drowning. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the nine. They have to learn to say, please help me. I need your help. Instead of making it all on themselves. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't wait to meet you at Conscious Life Expo. Yes. You're hilarious. I love this. Tell us, what are you going to talk? And I still have more conversations and questions, but I want people to know February 9th through the 12th, Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, LAX Hilton. I have a link. Click on that link so you guys can get your tickets. I'll be there. Glynis will be there. It is the most amazing weekend hearing presentations like what Glynis is doing. So talk about what you'll be sharing at CLE this year. So I'm doing two things. One, I'm going to be on George Norrie's panel. And George and I have worked together, honestly, for 21 years. I really? mean, it's insane. Yeah, we started in 2003 when he started on Coast to Coast. I'd been on Coast to Coast for a little while with like, um, Art you Bell? know, Art Bell, not just Art Bell, but also a gal named Barbara Simpson, whom, by the way, was terrific. But mm-hmm. I did those shows and then George and I finally connected and we've been connected all along. People love us together. Like I get love letters about us uh, radio in the night. Now I can tell you, we share four numbers out of six. So we do have a soulmate connection Mm. and our sound is wonderful together. Mm. Well, finally, they have an opportunity to see us in the same room, (laughs) which is so exciting. So I've been telling the coast to coast audience, hey guys, come on down to the LAX Hilton and join, you know, sit in that room and watch us as a panel because George and I will be interacting. I can't wait to do that. And then the following day, I'm doing my favorite thing I ever do, Cindy. Just like reading Debbie. Debbie. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. But which is funny. I'm really picking up a Cindy and you, and I'm not kidding. Isn't that funny? I wonder if Cindy energy is similar to Debbie. You know I'm gonna find that out. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. 
Yeah. So here's what I would say to you. The day I'm doing it, I'm doing, there's no such thing as a stranger when I've got your number. So what that means is I'm going to do the basic, everyone gets a worksheet. So you're going to yes. learn your life path number. You're going to learn your number the day you're born because that's your appearance number. And you're going to learn your attitude number. That's from your birth date. And those three numbers are sacred because you can never change your birth date. You can always change your name, right? You can do that. So I will do that at first. And then everyone in that room is volunteers. Like they'll come up with the mic and I will do quick reads on every one of them. Like obviously not every one of them, but everyone who raises their hand and gets called. But it is magic because you watch that room come to life by vibration. And once a person like, I'm going to have all the ones stand up, all the two stand up, they start to bond. You're two like me. You're one like me. I mean, friendships are made in that moment. Yeah, it, it is the most powerful workshop and it's 90 minutes of demonstration. And by the time you're done, you bet you've had a taste of numerology, but you are excited. Is that, and even personal year cycle, I'll talk about what cycle you're in. So yeah, they're going to get a wealth of information. And then after that, I will be doing my book signing and they'll be able to say, hey, book signing and uh, have a bunch of CDs ready for them. Yeah. Excellent. Where is your booth? Do you know? Are you in the main ballroom? In the uh, is it called the La Jolla Room? Is well, that's one probably called where that? you're speaking. Yes. So you're on George Norrie's panel on Saturday, yes. February 10th. 12 yes. p.m. This is Pacific time. Then yes. you're doing your numerology presentation on Sunday at noon, high noon. Yes. And um, well, look, you'll be in the, you, everybody gets a booklet when you enter. And isn't it called the mezzanine? Isn't mezzanine that where we is are? a great place to be. There's the big ballroom and the mezzanine. They're both amazing, but I'll find yeah. you. You won't be hard to find with that personality. No, no. People are going to know where I am. I, you know I, what I'm doing right now is breaking out the name Cindy and seeing oh. why I feel that in you. There's a reason. Oh, are you ready? Okay. So let's say we did Cindy the same way you do, Debbie. You don't have an E at the end, right? Right. And so let's say I put an I. 933. Excuse me, human Christmas tree. Are you not? <laughs> uh, what did I say about you? I said, eyes, smile, voice. Look mm. at you. Like you are lit. Mm. And when you're happy, you are so happy. Like that level of enthusiasm so what i did when i said cindy it's 933 which are my numbers right like that's what i feel when i looked at your chart i'm like oh wow that's very not just naturally matched but so on the same page about the world this world we live in how each person's affected and when someone plays a victim neither one of us puts up with that it's like hey life can be tough but get up soldier let's make a new plan mm -hmm. and you know one thing i always end up saying I say, do not ever heat the pity pool. Let it be ice cold. Huh. So when you fall in, you want out. <laughs> ah, that's good. Yes. Yeah, never pay for that heating bill, for that pity <laughs> pool. Because, yeah, some people are so comfortable living there. They're like, I love this. I said, no, no. You want it so cold. You're like, this isn't working for me. I'm ready for help. And that's, in fact, that's exactly it is a great is motivator. I know because I've experienced this in my life when things have yes. gone awry. I know what it's yes. like to soak in it and how crappy it is. And it leads it's, it's to nothing worst. good. But no, there's no it's good used as the motivator to say, I remember once it was going on for me. This is quite a long time ago, but financially. And there was a pattern. And I said, you know what? I am never living like this again. I don't know yes. what it's going to take to get out of this, but I will never be this person. And let me tell you, I've never been that person again. Yeah, you, you announced it to the universe. You made it clear. It's like, no, this isn't who I am. It was unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I feel like it can be used, this ice cold water you're talking about to oh, yeah. us out there to make change for the better. Yes. Yes. I am going on George Norrie's show. He is flying me to Colorado. Oh. Um, I'll be interviewed on February 16th. Is there okay. anything I should know in my interactions with George? Well, yeah. I mean, it happens to be a day for him. He's a seven and the 16th, one plus six is seven. Is that the day you're doing the show? I'm being interviewed that particular day. Flying All me right, out. So let me tell day. you about that day. This this will help you. All right, hold on. Um, so we got the nine and then eight. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Isn't that all a part of you too? Okay, what does that mean? Uh, seven is going within. Like your research, 
have all your ducks in a row. <laughs> because sometimes, I mean, he's really good. Like when you give him questions, he's pretty good about just jumping through your questions. But sometimes he'll go random. He'll okay. jump around and just be ready for that, right? Okay. But what's terrific, especially in person, he's got a real warmth to him. There's a warmth in his personality and he does pay attention. So mm. when you lay it out, it, to me, it's about eye contact, mm. you know, that you really are looking at him so he knows, you know what you're talking about. This isn't fluff for you, you know? You're not doing the interview. Again, what I say about you, it's not about attention. It's about making a difference. And then it ultimately adds up to an eight. So what does that mean to me? Look adorable. I would be stepping it up. <laughs> if, you know, it's an eight day, you're dealing with the eight world number, I'm gonna, you know, Pick something that I love, something that makes me feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. Something I, it's almost like a lucky clothes, lucky necklace, something that, um, oh, and the number uh, purple is when I want to jump. Do you have any amethyst? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Bring amethysts, okay. have it on your body, wherever you want, because amethyst re resonates with the seven and the eight, and that's both of that energy. So it also means your inner voice becomes even stronger. So yeah, amethyst for sure. And then the, the attitude of the day is nine, which I know he has, as do you, humanitarian. Mm -hmm. what, difference, what difference can this conversation make, you know, when we have this conversation? So yeah, that's a big day in energy. A lot beautiful. going on that day. That's beautiful. Thank you. And I have a bomb outfit picked out already. And oh. two more just in case. So they have choice. But yeah, yeah I'm all Love. about it. Thank you. Thank you. I will grab that amethyst. And I yes. uh, can't wait to hang out with him. Um, yes. I want to talk a little bit about names. Uh, first, I want to say, let's talk about your name first. Okay. So do you know what your name means? Yes. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, I'm going to tell you what it is in numerology and what makes it fun. The name Glennis, you know, my soul numbers are seven. And so the, what's funny about that, the three is the communicator. The, the seven is not. The seven is the one who observes us. They make for great interviewers, but they go back a bit to pay attention to what is happening around them. So that's what people don't know about me. They're like, oh, Glennis, you're always talking, you're fun. Blah, blah. No, I'm paying attention. You know, I can be at a table and all of a sudden there's something going on in that corner and I pick it up. I hear what's happening and it's coming from the number seven. And then I have double seven, which is my spirituality, because I did find my faith and my faith is such a part of me. So it's in my name. And the five is never a dull moment. You know, playing the natural detective. I can do that. I And I do. Every time there's something that happens, I do my research. I get the answer and I'm ready to talk about it. Mm. That's my name. All right. And we're going to start to wind this down. Glynis is so popular. She's already got somebody there to work with. So on my end, Glynis, feminine name, Welsh origin, meaning Glen. And what I love is your last name, McCants, Scottish origin, Gaelic yeah. name, McCanta, meaning proclamation or speech. Ah, It's so I perfect for you. Old Gaelic name, Mac Andrea the derivative of your name, meaning son of Andrew. So folks, you can see numerology can really help things. You've gotten your global year ahead and we can find you at numberslady.com. Anything else you want us to point us to or tell us about? Well, I would tell them uh, my books, Love by the Numbers. If you're single and you use that book. I've had over, we're, I think we're almost at 10,000 people. We get letters all the time from people who found love. I actually have three people getting engaged right now who want to pick a date. They're engaged. They want to pick a date to get married. And they did it through my book, Love by the Numbers. So again, if you're single, it helps you get love from, right from the start. But also, if you're married, how do you make it better? If you're having trouble in your marriage, I give you tools to make it better. And then Glennis has your number is the buffet of numerology. It covers everything you can think of by the numbers. Yeah, those are fun. But they're at numberslady.com and a free newsletter. Every month, Debbie, I do a free newsletter to tell you what's in store for the month by the energy. So that's, hmm. that's me. That's what's happening. What a beautiful guest. Thank you so much for today, for the reading, for everything that everybody received. I adore you. And you. I end today's show with this quote from Mark Nepo. Surrender is like a fish, finding the current and going with it. Subscribe to this number one transformation conversation, Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. 
<clears throat> excuse me, please leave a comment and like. I read them all. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Next week on the show, the amazing Neil Donald Walsh, author of the Conversations with God book series. And Neil has a new book coming out, God Talk, that we will be discussing. Thanks for joining us today. Create your dreams, do your numbers so it's much easier for you.